Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going over what's hot. And what's not. Purr. And it's our budget version. So today we're looking at two of my favorite vendors, Zara and H&M. So, both Zara and H&M are powerhouses of fashion, and you may or may not know that they also have home departments. Now, they're not all things to all people in there, but they have some super, super hot stuff and some stuff to skip. So, let's go. Okay, so starting right in with H&M's not list, leave it on the shelves for sure, is their bedding linens. Now, they're 100% linen, which is fine, but, alarm, 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 they're only a thread count of 104. So, that's a no-go. Those are not quality enough for you guys. So, we gotta keep looking and keep moving. Okay, so the number two thing to skip at H&M is their rugs. So, the problem with them is they don't really have enough of a range, and they're all kind of flat weaves, they're cotton, they're not really a super high quality. So, if you're gonna invest in something that's gonna be a long-term thing, skip it. So, now, number three thing at H&M that you can definitely leave in the aisle is their window treatments. Now, there's a lot of places to get window treatments out there. This just isn't one of them. They only have a couple of looks. They're not very versatile. There's just not a lot there there. So, we're gonna show you how to spend some money on something else, not the window treatments. So, what do we buy at H&M that's hot, hot, hot? Ooh, I love some of their accessories. In particular, ooh, look at their accessory pillows. Super cute, cute, cute. They don't have a huge range of sizes, but oh, what they've got is super cute. You can mix and match together, make up a whole little palette all for yourself. These are great and such a deal. So, number two that's definitely hot with H&M is their decor items. Oh my god, this is what H&M is all about, guys. They crush this section. Do yourself a favor and take a look through all of these fabulous little vases and candlesticks and pots and plants and decor items. They're great. I love some of their pieces. They have just absolutely a huge range, very reasonably priced, look great with a little plant in them or some flowers. This is a go-to from H&M. Now, we're gonna slide into Home Goals plate here and we're gonna take a look at Zara Home. Now, Zara Home, one of my favorite vendors. Again, you can't really rely on them for foundational pieces like big sofas, you know, bed frames, those kinds of things. You're gonna need to go to other vendors for that kind of thing. Think about Ikea, Cost Plus. There's all kinds of places where you can get some of those bigger building block pieces, but Zara slays it in the accessories and the decor department. There's so much in the hotness category that I barely have a few knots, but let's hit them because I do not want you buying these. Let me show you. Ooh, this number one is this cotton poofy saddle baggy thing. Skip it, skip it, skip it. You don't like this one. Number two, patchwork pillow. No, just keep moving. Number three, this rug, my problem with this rug is it's fine, but it's not a value. And we are looking at value and budget solutions here. That's not one of them. And number four, I don't even know what to say about this tray. It shouldn't belong anywhere. Do not put it in your cart. Okay, guys, now the next section is Zara's hot, hot, hot section. And I gotta tell you, there is so much in this section. I need my sunglasses. Okay, so their number one thing that I absolutely love that they just crush on is accent furnishings. Oh my gosh, I love their stuff. It's beautiful walnut side chairs, stools. I love this one that has the white cushion in back and that beautiful turned arm, very simple. Or how about this bench? That's amazing. They slay in the accent furnishings department. So if you just need that one little extra bit of something that makes a room pop, oh my gosh, run, don't walk to Zara home. Now, the next category that they do 
crushingly well is decor. And it's so big, there's so much of it that I'm just hitting a few things. They have some great vases. They have this amazing little piece that is this book display. I love this. You could use this in your traditional space or in your contemporary space. It looks great anywhere. And all of their stuff is very, very reasonably, reasonably priced. How about this, which is a cool and groovy doorstop. Love those. They just are super inventive in the decor department and they just keep rolling it out. So keep your eye on them. Now the number three area that that Zara Home slays in is the decorative pillows. Oh my gosh, I love them. Look at this wool one, and it's an unbelievably reasonable price. Or, ooh, I love this one with the linen with the accent band around the edges. Hot, baby! This is hot. So, and they've got sizes and shapes that vary, and you can build a whole suite together with them. These are yummy. Make sure they're in your cart, that's for sure. Now, the last thing that I love that they do, it's not a huge range, but it is very cute, sexy, and super hot, is their hardware. And I love these just classic hooks or these gorgeous little glass knobs, or even this marble one that's a two-thirds, one-third black and white. So inventive. These guys just crush it all the time with everything that they develop virtually. Now, if you're ready to switch up your decor and you're on a bit of a budget, you definitely want to check out these two vendors. They're amazing for the range of product that they have, as well as their very reasonable price points. They're available both in the US and globally. So I wanted to catch everybody with these two vendors. Now, if you haven't already checked it out, you also want to take a peek at what we've got in the design club store. Now, whether or not you're a member of the design club or not, you can still buy from the store. And what we've done is we've tried to pick a nice range of Lisa's faves to be all over the map in terms of price points and style statements. And you definitely want to go to the link below that'll take you right to the design club store and have fun with it. Okay. So, this is the point where I ask you, on behalf of all YouTube creators, for a subscription. Just hit that little button because it really helps all of us that are developers in the YouTube space to bring more to you. It helps us to bring you more information and help you solve your problems every day. So go ahead, hit that button. I'll wait. And now what I want you to do is go back to this point check out this little video here and I'll see you guys next week.